Today, we're gonna check out the new episode of The Greatest Demon Lord is Reborn as a Typical Nobody. Now, we saw that there was this uh, tournament between the girls in the school, and it was about to be a finale of Ginny versus Elena, or Elena, Irina? Irina. And unfortunately, boom, demons popped up. So now, demons are, are, are attacking, and everyone sort of gets separated, right? Like, all the people that were powerful enough to fight demons all go off and fight on their own. And Professor Jessica, I think that's that's her name, stays with Ginny and Irina. Well, Professor Jessica is actually the Dragon King, I'm pretty sure is what she said, and she kills Irina's father. That's where we're picking up from. So, let's jump into it. Logo reveal. Though before we do, as it turns out, most of you are not actually subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the content that we make here, then like the video and consider subscribing because you can help us reach our goals by the end of the year with just one click. And if you want to see unedited versions of our seasonal anime reactions, plus even exclusives for Freshest patrons that won't be cut up for YouTube for quite a while, you can join our Patreon link in the description. Or not killed? Okay, never mind. Or not killed. I thought he was fucking dead, bro. Shit. Time to turn up. Yep. Yes, sir. Ooh, we like that. What's the proposal? Oh, shit. Wait, what's their secret? You should, though. I wonder what the secret is. Is this her bad dream? Oh yeah, that's her bad dream, okay. I wonder what it is. Is she some sort of like catalyst for the, the destruction of the world or some shit? I don't know. Oh my God. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Destruction of the world. That's very weird. I want to destroy this world because there's kindness. Kind of a stupid reason. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, bro. It's like not getting revenge or anything. No, nah, you're just like, I'm evil. You know who else was still human? The demon Lord Varvatos. I can't wait till we learn. We're gonna find out that she's not Irina, she's I I Hina. She's a man. I don't think that's a big series. That that wouldn't be like some crazy thing. I'm I'm pretty sure what it is is like she is the yeah, the catalyst for the destruction of the world or some shit like that, right? Oh shit. Jenny, if you don't if you don't get your ass back, bro, you are not coming. Maybe on the next one. Alright. I mean oh. Yeah, dude. Dude, he's like, "Yeah, I'm going to go and destroy this fucking demon, this dragon king, and I'll be back by dinner." A boyfriend. Do silly things like what y'all was about to do in bed. Bro, what kind of Iron Man? That's his hands. Little hands. Come here. What the fuck is that? Ew. Well, well. Look who it is. Oh, please be like some hype animation for the shit. He's already hitting the spells together. A nine cast. Damn. Yo, with the snap of his fingers, he disabled that spell. That's wild. Ugly. Still kind of fine though. <laughs> it's a balance, you know? 
It's okay though. She about to be even uglier. Go on, switch into a dragon. Turn into a dragon. Oh, she carries the blood of the evil gods. Oh, wasn't she just saying that if you're flesh of the evil gods, you can summon an evil god? Like, come on, bro. Kind of what I said, the catalyst to bring about the destruction, whatever. She carries the blood that... Oh. Oh, they're the actual... Oh, so Irina's a princess. Why would he give a fuck? Bro, he would just be like, listen, I could just kill her. Like, what? The, it doesn't matter. Aww. Ooh, turn up. Turn up, Ard. Damn. Fuck her up. What did he just do? And get off the man. He still got to do stuff. Shit. He ain't done here. Now she's a dragon! Rawr. Psych. But not this time. Now he's got friends to help him. Damn, that shit said nope. <sighs> he turned her ass into a sword? Bro, you ain't just a villager, bro, stop. <laughs> oh shit, this thing is... This thing's like a little computer. Telling him like what's coming and... Bro, too late, you're in my ass, bro. You're gonna get fucked up here. There's no love or friendship in this world, relax. Man, gasp with his mouth closed. <clears throat> Yo, he's getting armored up now. Yo. Bro, you cannot be coming out here looking like that. What the fuck? Not good enough. What the fuck is this? Damn, they both got some like strong ass abilities and shit right now. Yes, you are. Damn, that's crazy. Yo, shit. Bro, he went full fucking David Bowie. Yeah. 
He doesn't give a fuck if you're a princess. Aww. Then you're sure he'll what? Wanna... Mm, maybe? Is that what you're thinking about, huh? Alright, that was good. It's good. Good little episode. There was a lot of action in this one, so... That was cool, man. Honestly, man, it's just... It's just... I know I say this a lot, but damn, it's so much better than the strongest age with the weakest crest. Like, the action in this one actually looks good. The animation looks good. You know, the story's like, okay... I don't know if there's like that crazy of a story because he's he's kind of just like overpowered, right? Like who's really going to stand in his way? But at least we got one reveal here. Irina, you know, she's been like cast aside, but apparently she is the princess. Like she's actually the princess. Like we met the queen. Of no, no, no. She's the actual princess. So, I mean, that also explains how she was able to just stand up in court and say whatever the fuck she wanted. And the queen's was like, yep, that's my friend. Yep, because she's the actual fucking, she's the actual one in power. Yeah. Damn, I can't believe our boy... Okay, so he goes into the treasury to get all of these items to go and fight the, the Dragon King, right? But he didn't even need the items because in the end, he used a spell to summon the sword that gave him the armor that turned him into his Bowie form. And it, like, those items didn't really do shit for him. Like, I guess maybe the boots helped because it gave him like Iron Man speed to fly over, but that's it. And the, the spear thing was just like a to stop lightning and like throw it at like, but it, I don't think they were significant enough. Like he could have just turned up from the jump. But but he did find out about Irina's uh, ancestry, I guess, having blood of the evil gods or whatever. And um, he didn't give a fuck. He doesn't, he doesn't really care about that. What he cares about is his friends and his friends are Ginny and Irina. So yeah, he's not gonna really care about anything beyond that. Like her having this blood of evil gods, eh. her being the princess, eh. None of that really matters to him. Uh, those things are just fucking titles and like blood and like he doesn't care. Like, can you control what kind of blood you got? Like, no, like, I can't control what kind of blood I got in me. The only person that can control blood is Katara and the other bloodbenders. But no, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's not something like you can really you don't really have control over it. So who cares? You don't have control over the way that you're born. Like you have control over like the decisions you make afterwards, you know? You know, decisions you make as an adult, who you become, those things are are things that can be altered. But like, I think that he realizes that he just like, I don't, I don't really give a fuck. Yeah, so he learns about her secret. I don't know if she really learned about his secret. Like, I don't know if she could tell while oh, he was up there in the sky, if he was, you know, looking like the, looking like Varvados. Maybe, maybe not. I, I don't really know. But yeah, he turns up. He just, he just totally shits on her. He like summons this sword, which I guess has the soul of the elf lady or something. Like it, it looked like the elf lady, right? Oh, does that have like ties to it or something? Or, or maybe it's just a totally like separate coincidence that they both kind of look similar. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Overall, fun episode though. You love seeing action. So watching action that is animated well is just, is just awesome. Love it. So from here, I'd love to know what you all thought about this one down in the comments below. How'd you feel about Ard just turning up like that, you know, going into that form and, you know, finding out about uh, Irina's past, you know, this the fact that she has the blood of the evil gods or whatever, you know. Let me know down in the comments below and let me know if there's something I, may I maybe should have picked up on and didn't really pick up on, though I don't think there was anything. I mean, you can still let me know. Just don't go spoiling things down in the comments, okay? And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one if you're interested in anime-themed content since that's what we make on the channel. And until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.